nice. Oh, look! I did it! It one shot! Welcome! It's your friendly neighborhood Badger here, and I'm back to provide what was promised. If you've seen my previous video, uh, I got bullied into playing an unarmed build by Path of Exile, and here it is. Now, you did probably see the intro, unless you skipped through, which is crazy if you did that, you're an actual psychopath. Because at the start there, you saw me one-shot Hydra. Now, Hydra didn't die instantly. There's a one-shot mechanic in place with Hydra that it can't actually die before it does its first kind of invulnerable phase. But we did one-shot there. Hydra has around about 26 million health. Um, so with all the penetration that we have of elemental resistances and on Ice Crash, we actually managed to do that much damage. Now, the top end of this build is anywhere from like 60 million to 100 million initial hit damage. But as you can see here, we're only level 88. So there's a lot of room. So first of all, we've got dual socket, dual socket, and in this dual socket, a transcendent, transcendent flesh will give us a lot of crit multi and some more crit multi through here. The jewels I have themselves are two crit multi and sometimes only one crit multi. Uh, well, those, those ones are both two. I think this one here is only one crit multi, but I needed some intelligence. And yeah, there's a lot more to pick up on the tree itself, a lot more balancing. There's a potential of getting elemental hit on the face breakers and then even fitting in a third curse if we can, maybe an assassin's mark would be pretty interesting. Uh, and then just, you know, improving the rest of the gear all around. But we are doing a ton of damage. Now I am gonna do a little bit of a showcase, but warning, I will say, softcore build incoming. There's a very real potential that I die. I only put about two to three hours into actually making this build work. You can see right here that with max endurance, well, three endurance charges, I'm still not even capped res. I cap res basically through a wise oak here, which does work. Uh, and then the wise oak does give me some more cold damage through my cold resistance being the highest. We've got negative 60 chaos res. We're taking 10% more damage from uh, Berserker and we're taking 40% increased physical damage taken. So as you can see here, we're taking a lot of damage. I'm also doing a stupid thing, which you should never do, putting Enduring Cry on my left click without having instant war cries, meaning that as I'm walking around, uh, this is happening to get my, my, uh, my endurance charges, but then every now and then as I'm walking, I stop and cast and keep going. Uh, this is also to keep my rage generation up and my sacrifice of rage. So it does actually, it's got more benefits than downsides in my opinion, but it's probably not the best idea. I, I, I wouldn't recommend on it because uh, you do get those delays there. All right, we're going to jump into a tier 11 red map. Um, a white map, and there's still a very, uh, a very big potential that I do die here, but hey, it's going to be fun for you to see the gameplay. Now, it's super clunky as well because it slams and getting the most damage means that you have to war cry, attack twice, and then use your second war cry, attack twice, My mana is gone. and then berserk, and then a big slam uh, that didn't even work because I was out of mana, right? Uh, but let's just do a little bit of this. Let's let's run around, do some slams, do some war cries. As you can see there, I took a shit ton of damage, uh, but we'll just keep going. Maybe put Berserk on, uh, and then keep going through. Uh, but you know, if if we if we pay attention to where the mobs are, and you know, try not to stand in them, we can survive. We can do okay. Let's see if we can get through the map without dying, shall we? So yeah, we're going along. Uh, I'll show you the one-shot potential on the boss. Granted, this is only a tier 11, but you did see the intro. We can one-shot Guardians. Now, the next goal with this build, if we can get there, is to one-shot Maven. Now, Maven has around about 56 million health. So it's about double uh, the damage that I did do to Hydra, right? Which is very possible on this build. As I said, I'm only level 88. There's a lot of room. And Crit Multi is an insane scaler on a Crit build like this one. So we're just going to continue on. Also still got some gem levels to level up, like our Awakened Gems and everything like that. Uh, the other big thing, as you can see, that is happening right now, I'm getting interrupted a lot uh, because I'm getting stunned. Stunned is obviously not something that you want, right? All right, let's war cry. Let's do that. Let's war cry again. Let's slam. Let's slam. Oh, I didn't even get my max slam off and I killed the boss with the outside ring of the slam there. So yeah, you can see, look, the damage, the one shot potential, it's big, it's massive. Uh, there's a lot of war cries happening there, as you can hear. We didn't die, which was a great showcase of the build. Probably the best case scenario I could have asked for. Uh, now, the obvious questions. Uh, 
Hey, Mr. Badger, is this viable in hardcore in any way? Oh yes, of course. Don't play Berserker, don't use Abyssus. Play either Champion or Gladiator. They're both really, really good for unarmed. Uh, and you can do this slamming on, on a champion with face breakers and be way, way, way tankier than I am right now. We're talking 10 to 20 times as tanky type of thing. Uh, because I've gone full softcore. And you'll still be able to get some pretty respectable damage. Now, I am going to put a, uh, a pace spin down below of this build where it is right now. But as I said, there is a lot that hasn't been figured out really with this build. There's still a lot more to go. So keep an eye on updates, whether you want to come and drop by on stream at twitch.tv slash thisisbadger. But hit that sub button down below and ring that little bell if you want to keep updated with the kind of stuff that I'm doing. Obviously, right now, PoE is dead. It's not dead, but like uh, we're very much in a downtime waiting for the new league. When that new league uh, crops around, you can expect a lot more content coming out, both on Twitch and on YouTube. And we're going to be pushing for 50k subs over the next three months. So let's see if we can get there right now. I think we're on like 33, almost 34k. I reckon we can do 50k by the end of the next league, 3.15. So if you want to help me out, hit that sub button. I love you all guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, Badger is out.